Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to practice reading tabs, the skill we learned in the last video. But we'll take a field trip to ultimateguitar.com, which is the website where you find most of the free tabs and free chords on the internet. So you'll be using that website a lot going forward. We'll learn how to navigate the website, and when we get there, we'll practice reading a tab. Before we do that, if you like what you've seen so far, join me as a member on Patreon. This is the last free video I will offer, but if you enjoyed the lessons and it's helping you get started on guitar, join up and every Monday you will get a new beginner guitar lesson and they'll all be coming to you in order. So let's get on with the lesson. Today we're gonna practice the song Seven Nation Army. If you don't know it, you should take a lesson to it. We're just going to need it in your ears so that you can learn to read the tab. I'll play it for you now, but don't watch my hands too closely because I don't want you copying me yet. You have to practice actually reading the tab. Sounds like this. Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. Okay, so if you don't know that song, take a listen to it. But let's go find it on Ultimate Guitar right now. Switch screens. So we're on the homepage of Google. I'm just going to type in Ultimate Guitar. Take the first one that I come to. Now here's the home page. Uh, very popular website, so you'll find it. It should always be the first one. They do have a cell phone app, so if you're on a phone, you can download that. It's free. It's a good app. Um, your home page will look something like this, but it's unique for everybody because it saves your suggestions and gives you recommendations if you're logged in. But what you'll do is... Uh, you go to the search bar and you basically search any song that you're looking for. So I'm looking for Seven Nation Army. It's, I know it's there in the suggestions, but I press that in the search bar and what you'll get is a list of a bunch of tabs. And the important part is to look on the right here. Uh, there's two things you'll find there. You'll find how many upvotes it has and stars and you'll find what type of tab it is. So they're all Seven Nation Army, there's various versions, and that's because it's open source, so a lot of people have submitted versions, and the moder moderators are pretty good about uh, only putting up good ones, but there are some flaws, um, and we'll talk about those in a second, but the top two here, Official and Pro, those are the ones you pay for, that's what I have. It's, uh, I believe it was like 25 bucks for uh, a year, it was perfectly reasonable. And let's just look at an official tab, and we'll compare it to what we see on the um, free ones. So. This is an official tab. Um, it has all of the notes written in very nicely, spaced out nicely on musical bars. It has timing. Uh, if I press uh, the space bar, it will actually play the song for me. And this will happen in, on your computer and in the app. Um, it also has the vocal line written out with guitar tab. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's got the rhythm guitar. So it has a lot of information, even the drums. So if you're playing with a band and you want everybody to have the tabs, this is useful. So let's go back. Uh, the Pro will be similar. It's just not the official high quality version created by the Ultimate Guitar team. Um, we've got a chord version. Now, if you open this, You'll see it has chords at the top, it has the riff, and it also has the chords down here. Now, we'll, let's take a moment to talk about what a riff is before we continue here. So in music, you have melodies, chords, and specifically in guitar music, we have what are called riffs. Now what we are looking for are riffs, and you'll usually find riffs in ultimate guitar tabs that are listed as tabs, not as chords, as tabs is what you're looking for. So what is a riff really, and why is it different from chords? Well, let's look at a chord first. This is a chord. It's a combination of notes, and you usually strum chords like this. Like that. Now you've heard that in lots of songs. A lot of times you'll have a singer and they're strumming chords. A riff is different in that it can't really be described in chords. The way I can describe this as E minor, G, D, and A chord. I can't really describe Seven Nation Army in terms of chords, but I can describe it in terms of individual notes 
or frets on a tab. So what a riff is really is a very recognizable guitar sound from a song. So here are a few examples of riffs from Smoke on the Water. We just heard Seven Nation Army, but here's one called Iron Man. looking for today. Okay, so here we are. We're back on Ultimate Guitar now. We're going to look at this tab again, and I'll show you a few places that you should uh, take a look at before you start any tab. This one's very important. Near the top of the page, it will tell you the tuning. Now this one says E, A, D, G, B, E. Let's zoom in on that a bit. Now that is Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye Eddie, and that is our standard guitar tuning. Uh, if you see something different as a beginner, you should watch out for that because if you go and try a tab with a different tuning, it won't sound right. It can be very frustrating and confusing. And retuning your guitar in a different way than standard tuning as a beginner can also be frustrating and confusing. So you will do it eventually. It's very common, but hold off on that for now and avoid tabs that have different tunings. As we scroll down, we see that you could choose guitar, ukulele, or piano music, or tabs, or chords. And here we have the guitar chords, which we won't be doing in this uh, lesson, and I don't think you should play in this particular song anyway, so we'll be ignoring those. Uh, there's no strumming added yet. Uh, this is uh, an incentive that Ultimate Guitar has for users to improve and update the website. You can get IQ points, for um, improving tabs. Um, if you look at mine, I only have 66 because I've just started posting on Ultimate Guitar, but I'll slowly collect those. Now this says verse ripped, rip. So this is basically what we're looking for here finally, but you'll notice there are only four strings. Now that's because this is for a bass guitar. This song actually is played on the bass guitar, but most of us learn it on guitar anyway. So this is not exactly what we're looking for. So let's switch versions. Let's go to version two and see what they have. So the tuning is the same. We have the author of the tabs, the user who uploaded it. Two contributors, these are people who have updated and improved the tab. Got the chords again, no strumming once again. And here we have the tab, which is what we're looking for, uh, but it has six strings. So this is exactly what we need now. So let's have a look at it. Um, what we want to do is pick up the guitar. If you don't have your guitar yet, pick it up. We're going to have a look at this. I'll zoom in a bit more so we can really see it. So on the E string, there is a zero. I would actually like to avoid that because uh, I do not play that zero when I uh, teach the song. So I would like you to just ignore that zero for now. Let's look at the A string. So on the A string, we need to find fret number seven. So go ahead and locate that now. When you find it and play it, it should look should sound like this. So that is my seventh fret. Here it is again. So that's the seventh fret again. Now, you should be using just your index finger. Let's just stick to the pointer finger. Let's now move that up to the tenth fret on that A string should sound like this. So there's that 10th fret. I'm gonna find seven. And then same finger, only using the one finger today, we're gonna go and find five here. So there's your five. This is uh, what we call a bar line. We can ignore that for now. Um, all it represents is that four beats have been counted. So one, two, three, and then I'm going to start here counting a new set of four. One, two, three, four. So that's the third fret, same string, second fret, same string. And that sounds like this, third fret and second fret. Now what I'd like you to do is pause the video if you need to and try to play that riff so it sounds like this. what's written on the tab there, and as I said, ignoring this zero. 
All right, so that's ultimateguitar.com. Uh, we'll be using that a lot going forward because it's where you'll find most of your free music on the internet, most of your free tabs and your free chords. So we want to get used to the way it looks and how to use it. So we'll be coming back there later. But for now, you should go and search the website for songs you want to learn, anything that's on your mind. Uh, you might encounter something that's a little confusing because, like I said, there's still a lot to learn about how the website works and how to read tab. But go out there and get lost because that's the best way for you to learn anyway. You'll come back with lots of questions that I will answer in future videos. Uh, you could search for anything you want. You'd be surprised at what's out there. There's all sorts of obscure music that people have posted because if you're interested in looking for it, chances are there's someone else who's interested in it that knows how to write a tab. So don't be afraid to search for something strange. All right, so we have one more really basic skill that you need to really get going on your own, and that's how to read chords. So next week on Monday, we're gonna learn how to read chords. We're gonna learn your first most basic chord, and then from there, we just build and build and build. So I'll see you there next week. Thanks for watching.